Hello guys. Video number two. I think video number one skipped a little bit. You guys can go to the video and look. But tried it on my webcam this time. I don't think that screen cast uh, works too well. I noticed it was lagging a lot and I don't know. It works good for doing screen stuff. Like if you're screen capturing something and you want to show it on YouTube and it's having to do with your background screen thing, like uh, razzing cards or showing something on a website or something like that, uh, instead of using your phone to record it. Uh, but whoever came up with the idea was it was a good idea, but it does seem to lag a bit. But uh, I'm going to show the the PSA nines and the PSA tens and the surprise card. Um, let me back up a little bit. There you go. Um, the PSA nines were pretty nice. Uh, John Henson Black Prism One of One got a PSA nine. Um, John, I would actually, I mean, if you really want a ten and take a chance on it, you can send this card back and try to get a ten for it. I mean, that's up to you. This is mine. Uh, the 2014 Panini Excalibur uh, Vince Carter Crusade Orange die cut. I just sent a second one to PSA uh, to get graded of this card. Uh, this one's numbered 49 of 60. Uh, the uh, I think the other one was numbered 10 of 60. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, then this one is not really sure. I think this is mine. Um, 2015 Stadium Club Chris Bryant PSA 9. Uh, I think it is because I remember busting some of this um, on video and I mentioned that I was going to get this one graded. Uh, I do like the, the card itself because it's really... <clears throat> it's really a nice card. And I mentioned he looked like Derek Jeter in this picture. I mean, if you look at the face, doesn't he look like Derek Jeter a little bit? Man, I got Chris. Uh, Chris is, uh, not Chris. Uh, 91 Tops Chipper Jones. PSA 9. Chris Bosch, 2003, 03 Ultra, uh, Platinum Medallion, PSA 9. It's supposed to say Lucky 13. I think that's an error. It's number to 100. Um, but it says Platinum Medallion on the back of it, but it actually is supposed to be Lucky 13. Platinum medallion. Then you got uh, 2008 Skybox Metal Universe. Uh, PSA 9, Kevin Love. And that one right there, I didn't show. Forgot to. See where it says Lucky 13 right there? That's what it's supposed to say, but. On the back of it, it has Platinum Medallion. It's supposed to say both, I think. I don't think it had room for that. But either way, it's fine, I guess. Um, Peyton Manning 98 Fleer Showcase, Row 3. I would be tempted to find the Row 2 and the Row 1. And the Row 00. I've already found Row three in row two of Vince Carter. These came out the same year as Vince Carter's. 
uh, cards. Those are really nice cards. I actually like the row three better. And the row one is, God, it's expensive. Uh, John Henson, Hot Rookies Prism, Red. Uh, and this one is uh, number 25. Got a PSA 9. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, Panini Prism, Fresh Faces Prism, Die Cut. Uh, PSA 9. I don't think this one is numbered. That's a pretty cool card. There you go. PSA 9. Uh, 2012 Topps Chrome Adrian Peterson Pink Refractor numbered to 399. Got a PSA 9. I had a pink of Andrew Luck one time. It booked for $40. I wonder what that sucker books for now. That's when it first came out. 2010 Rob Gronkowski cutting to his right. PSA 9. Rob Gronkowski. Gronkowski. I think that's Canadian or German. Not sure. Here is the other version. This is the sideways, passing sideways version. Uh, I think this is the photo variation. Anything over 100 is a variation. Uh, or 120. Anything over 120. Uh, Andrew Luck passing sideways. Uh, PSA 9. I think the other one got an 8.5. I'm not sure. Can't remember that far back. Uh, 91 score Chipper Jones. Got a PSA 9. It's pretty good. Chipper is the man. And then you got your 93 Pinnacle. Derek Jeter. PSA 9. I was getting ready to show the surprise. Uh, 2012 Panini Select Hot Rookies White Hot. Uh, White Hot is not numbered. Uh, got a PSA 10. Then you got your White Hot Prism. And that is numbered to 25. Got a 10. The Panini Green Prism, numbered to 15, got a 10. The Hot Rookies Gold Prism, numbered to 10, got a 10. Talk about a 10. <clears throat> then your Panini Excalibur Vince Carter Crusade Teal. It's supposed to have both colors, teal and teal, teal and gold. It's supposed to say teal, teal and gold. Uh, Panini Excalibur uh, got another one. This one is numbered to twenty six thirty five. Uh, this is my second PSA ten from this set. Uh, I'll continue to build the set. I enjoy building that set so much. This one flipped my gourd. I've been wanting this card in a refractor version. I don't have the base version, but I have the refractor version, but it's off-center. It's really bad off-center. It's like 70-30. That's how bad it is. But I want... I've been wanting these the Adrian Peterson Bowman Chrome rookie cards for a long time. I like Adrian Peterson so much, but uh, I have the refractor version, but it's like, it's off side to side, 
Uh, but that one is a that one right there. That one right there probably set, will sell for around eighty bucks. That one right there, he's that damn good. Uh, 2012 Panini Select John Henson Hot Rookies. Um, that one should be red. Maybe it's the red is the base color. I think this is the base color. Base color. That's a nice one. Got a ten. John's scooping up, buddy. 89 Bowman's best Peyton Manning. Wow, that's a nice one. Another Peyton Manning auto, another rookie card. PSA 10. Sweet. Wow, another PSA 10 of Peyton Manning. This is an insert from 98 Bowman's best. Peyton Manning best performers. He must have opened up a box and got these two. Because the same year. Bowman's best rookie card. And then Bowman's Bowman's best best performers. Yeah, it's an insert card. It's BP1 and his rookie card number is 112. That's pretty cool. Check it out, buddy. Two tens of eight many. And you can't beat that with a stick. Here's a good one. Chipper Jones, 91 Bowman. Probably one of the easiest cards to get a 10 in. Bam! You can't beat that with a stick. A hickory stick, by God. Um, 2015, not 14, 2015. Odell Beckham Jr. Rainbow Foil Orange. PSA 10, number 44 of 50. Sweet looking card right there, buddy. Looks better in person. See, see that glitter? See that? The, the, the way it does? That's pretty cool. Looks like a little bunch of stars flying around inside the case. And, of course, got to have a Brian Dozier. Rookie card, 2012 Tops Update, Brian Dozier, PSA 10. Rookie card for the Twins. Bam! Tops Update. And the surprise... Uh, it's not really a surprise. It's more of a... They did it. PSA actually did it. Let me get these cards out of the way. First. There was a couple of cards in that stack that was pretty exciting to, to look at. Then there was some that was a hand. Why did they even grade it? But that's their PCs. It's not mine. No, nah, I'm just kidding. You guys grade whatever you want. I'm actually enjoying doing it. Brought to you by Sanka. Hmm. Sweet. Okay. In the past, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. You want to hear it? You sure? I can't hear you. Oh, okay. All right. Aaron said to show it. I don't know if it's Aaron's or not, but he said to show it. What, Renee? You tell me what to do? Beat your ass? No. Okay. Um, back a while back, you can watch the video go back or that way or that way that way whatever you want to do go to my past videos and talk about uh, I do not collect printing plates because PSA won't grade them 
PSA won't even authenticate them. And I did a rant on it. And I think the rant actually got to PSA. Because for the very first time, I've never seen this. I've never seen a printing plate of any shape or form graded by PSA except for ones that were from the 90s. The ones that were from the 90s, they graded because that's when, the I think it was 97 or 98, uh, the printing plates were actual, were, uh, had cardboard on the back of them and they were square and it had metal on the front and not they weren't all metal they were some metal and some not metal and uh, they weren't called yellow or or magenta or, or green or whatever you know um, but this one right here is the very first one I've ever seen graded by PSA now the reason that it's in a slab and I'm going to tell you this and I'm not going to give everybody's hopes up because they'll start sending printed plates to PSA but I think the reason this card is slabbed is because it's in a PSA registry it's in Peyton Manning's basic PSA registry or his all-time PSA registry this card is uh, in his uh, PSA registry for his all all of his cards the uh, from 98 all the way up to now so this is one of the cards actually printing plate uh, that's in the set and they just authenticated it Peyton Manning 2014 Panini Elite Peyton Manning print plate yellow 101 authentic they didn't ask me if I wanted it authenticated or if they wanted or if they didn't want it authenticated but they they actually slabbed the card and put authentic on it which I'm okay with um, I don't know about the person who actually got the card or paid to get it slabbed, but uh, I'm glad they did slab it, even if it is authenticated, and I'm glad they did authenticate it. They at least slabbed it and put authentic on it. We all know they're authentic, and they should know that. So, But that was a surprise. I don't know if you'd call that a real surprise, but... But it was really nice of PSA to actually um, authenticate it at least and slab it. Props goes to PSA. Appreciate that. Now, I'm going to sulk. You know what? I was thinking about using that for a coffee mug holder. My coffee on it. I'm going to set my coffee coffee cup on it but I was only going to do that if it came in a big thick slab you know the ones that are like that big <laughs> the ones that are like that big and, the, and they're like that thick <laughs> and they got a little uh, a little stand that you can just set it on your thing and put your coffee cup or your sweet tea on it that's what I did with my Ryan Nassib. Uh, I got a P. I got a card, a real thick card. Before they started putting the thick cards in these, I had a thick card of Ryan Nassib, and it was graded like 7.5 or something. But I came up with the idea. Um, I think it was the when the grades when the subbing was four dollars. And 75 cents a card one year in 2013 and I sent four cards that were thick to PSA two of them got nines one of them got a ten and um, 
the ten one was David Wilson, which I sold right before he retired. Um, when he hurt himself real bad, and he couldn't play no more. And the 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 six point five was of um, Ryan Nassen in 2013, and I came up with the idea of just getting all my thick base cards and putting the thick base cards of uh, Strata, and they're really nice cards. You know, Strata is a really nice product. The 2012 version was, but they are hard to grade. I mean, the the surface on it chipped so bad that they all got bad grades, and I really didn't care because I was using them for coffee mugs, and I was selling them for as coffee mug holders, as coffee mug holders to put your coffee on, set your coffee on, and I sold them for I sold them for ten dollars, uh, uh, ten dollars. I didn't put PSA, I put coffee mug holders or coffee mug stands and I show I took a picture of my coffee mug put it on that and put NFL coffee mug holder and I put the NFL team the person's name on it coffee mug holder sold it for 10 bucks an 8.5 for 10 bucks Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> but anyway, um, those slabs that I was talking about are about that thick. I mean, about that big. The pack holders, the pack holders are about this big, but they're twice. They're they're like that much. They're like that much thicker than this. The pack holders it holds a pack of cards, and and they used to put the the real. Um, they still do. They still and sometimes they'll put these in the pack holders, if the top doesn't fit in these anymore. And I'm really not digging how this cards in there, but this one got an eight point five two, but it's not in there straight. There you go. There you go. It's in there straight now. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. But I won't use this for a coffee mug holder because somebody actually gave this to me as a just because. I really appreciate it. But uh, that's all I have. And uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos this weekend, maybe. Uh, I got some cards I want to show off. I uh, busted a few retail boxes, and uh, I'm going to show them off. Um, if I pull anything good, I'll show them. But anyway, you guys have a safe weekend. Be good. Be honest. And Tommy Golf, stay out of trouble, god damn it.